All right, so um, I kind of put this one together using guides and then tracing around the edge of it um, in a particular fashion. Um, now I'm going to use a different command, um, a curve boolean, to do a similar thing. But what I want to do before I do that is I'm going to turn the image on and I want to sort of connect these two. I don't want there to be space in between there. So I'm going to make a circle maybe that connects those two. So I'll just make a three point circle here um, maybe from here to there and kind of do that guy. And oop, pick that and match to that. Um, and then I'll pick this guy and I'll just mirror it, you know, along here, along our axis, right? So we have two of those guys. Um, and then I'll turn off my cut layer. Oh, make it not current. Turn off my cut layer and um, copy everything, including the axis. Hold down my Alt key and copy that guy up so I can kind of play with it up here. Um, I'll turn my cut layer back on and make it current. And then I'm going to use the curve boolean. All right? And so what it wants me to do first is select curves. So I'm going to select all of my guide curves. I could select the axis, but I think I'm going to wait on that. Um, and then I'm going to hit enter. Um, it does give you options here to delete. So it's, it's, whoops, let's go ahead and pick that guy. I want all of those. Um, it gives you an option to delete. So it would delete the existing curves, but we don't want to do that. We want to keep our guides. It'll combine the regions, which is what we want. You'll see how that works. Um, and it's going to output curves and simplify the curves, which is always good. So once you have all of the um, curves you want to use for the Boolean, you can hit enter. And then it allows you to come in and sort of start picking and it basically does a boundary line, right? Like, so it's looking for boundaries. And so I'm coming in here and picking these boundaries out um, and seeing, you know, maybe what, I mean, that's kind of nice right there, actually, that piece, it's quite simple. Um, and it has four circles that I'll use. So maybe I'll, I'll keep that one in my side pocket. You never know what you're going to get, right? And so I'll hit enter there. And maybe we take um, sort of this group and, and this axis and we copy that up, right? Oops. Right, move that up a little bit. So we save that as an option. Oh, except I lost the, lost a little, somehow I managed to lose the, uh, so let's do the Boolean, let's do the curve Boolean again, right? So I'll pick these guys, hit enter, and then sort of start working my way around picking those guys again, right? think that was it, right? Um, I don't seem as happy with that one. Let's do it again. Let's see that, no, that, 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 and that, I think. That's what I liked right there, right? So I hit enter. Now I've got that guy up there. And then you could come in and start playing with other versions of it. You can see you might have some issues here because you're going to have these little tangent pieces that don't actually overlap. Um, so if I were to go in and do the curve Boolean again, and let's, let's just pick everything, right? And if I were to start sort of picking these guys, right, and get to here, that one's actually kind of nice too. Um, there's a lot of, and then suddenly I could come in and maybe pick. It starts to get a little flippy, right? Like it's going to the other side. That was kind of interesting. So you can start to get, you know, where there's, right, where it leaks, it's going to have issues. Right, so, um, and it obviously subtracts when you, so you can add and subtract, so it's kind of a Boolean thing. So um, you can come in and, and sort of start working on these guys. And again, 
you could come in and and if you wanted to sort of fix that you know maybe you pick this guy and scale it let's do it from from the center and maybe we just scale it a little bit be just enough to cross it and then we delete this one and then mirror this one again so I think um, you can take a little bit of license once you kind of get going um, and now if I do the curve boolean I could pick this guy and then this guy and this guy and maybe these guys right and start picking bits and pieces, right? So it's still having a little bit of trauma where it's leaking, leaking out here, right? I should have picked this guy too, but um, let's say we like, actually those are separate pieces are actually pretty nice. That one right there and then this one right here. So maybe I'll just go in and delete that. Interesting. There we go. Um, so maybe we use this one as one as well, right? And just get rid of this guy. So um, hopefully, that's helpful um, in sort of talking about. Um, how all of this, sorry, it's hard for me to talk and do all this at the same time, but um, how you might oh, it won't, won't do a curve to itself, so let's just extend Nope. Okay. So. Ah, oh, sometimes the simplest things are the hardest. I don't know why. Um, so, extend to here the curve. There we go. So now we've got this little guy, right, as another option from a series of curves. So you can start to generate. If you have a lot of complexity, then you can often simplify it. But I would go to different parts of the um, of the image to get different versions of it. Okay. Um, all right. So the next one I'll do. I'll make the the lines and then sort of backtrack to the guides 